So sit back, relax, happy holidays to everyone, and we're going to play football here at the Superdome with Georgia Southern receiving the kick. And that's Caleb Hood, who's going to stay on his feet. And a good return for Caleb Hood, who takes it past the 30-yard line. And that's where we'll get our look at Shy Wirtz, who is the man, as we mentioned in the open, that is going to make this offense go. Missed the past couple of games. Murray, the man in motion. Wirtz keeps it, pitches it to Murray. And a good job by the Louisiana Tech defense initially. But Murray breaks away. Big game, Malik Murray. This all happens because you've got your tight end and Cam Brown, number 48, out here on the sideline. Look at him straining for the block at the end. And then Emile Smith, number 85, downfield. Wide receivers and tight ends blocking make for big plays like this. So the war daddy early in the first quarter. Shy words keeps it. Laid the shoulder down and a touchdown for Georgia Southern. First drive of the game, Shy Words quarterback back. How about that for a 10-play, 65-yard drive and a touchdown in their first possession? Lower that right shoulder and get it down. I think it's a good sign and for And we'll see Shy it right Wirtz. here. And you see he twists over. It was one side of the ball that Coach Holt said was hit hard with COVID. The offensive line in the part of November. But a good run on first down. What a play. What a game. Israel Tucker. And a much needed big play for the Bulldogs to keep the drive going. Israel Tucker's got their only 100 yard rushing performance. So Allen play fake over the middle, bobbled but caught by Isaiah Grant. This line can go and fit bodies up. It's when you start to get movement, game, stunts that they struggle latching onto blocks. Allen over the middle, picked off, intercepted by Justin Birdsong, but there's a flag on the play. From the FBS, Brady White, certainly a nice career for the Memphis Tigers. They're gonna go back to a steady diet of Israel Tucker, who continues to run hard, gain of 13. After the targeting penalty, Todd Bradley Glenn's day is done. Play fake for Allen, climbs the pocket, goes over the middle, and again he's picked off. This by Derek Canteen. The red shirt freshman now six interceptions on the year. Georgia Southern starts with the ball, 35 yard line. Words, the play fake, he's gonna go deep. Has a man wide open, Caleb Horn. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. Take that injured shoulder. 65 yards, Wurtz to Hood. All concerns for me now, running and throwing put to bed. And you're going to watch in the back end, this safety's got eyes on number two right here. So as he tracks up the field, the second wide receiver, he's going to be looking down on him when he comes to the inside of the field. One comes inside, becomes two, he breaks out, and now all of a sudden that outside receiver, that switch by the wide receivers, changes the responsibility. That safety stays tracking the receiver that breaks outside, who becomes that second receiver inside for him. And now you've got guys streaking towards daylight downfield. Well, Don, he's got the college football audience all to himself, December 23rd, midday. I mean, I don't think anyone's really working, are they? We're certainly not. Toussaint. On the kick return, takes it by the 25, has a little bit of a convoy, takes it to the 40 in some good field position. Louisiana Tech credit, they got the dopey play-by-play -play guy. However, they did not get the Georgia Southern defense as Allen again intercepted. Anthony Wilson. Oh, and thank you, he's the guy for the rest of the day. Luke Anthony out injured, bringing up a third and five. Allen sets his feet, can't get away, brought down by C.J. Wright with the sack. The gain of four for Green on first down. That's Darius Lewis, the man in motion. He comes back, looks like he'll be the pitch man, and Lewis off the left side, and a nice play by Shai Wirtz, the pitch to Lewis, and a first down. They're going to run the ball, and they've done it well today. 211 total yards offense, 130 on the ground. And Wurtz is going to keep it himself. Shy Wurtz shows some bust and a touchdown for Georgia Southern.
37 yard score for Wirtz. Watch him bite up on the pitch man, number four. Quarterback sees that, he's got daylight. Then Shy Woods gets to put that speed on display, all because they took the... Plenty to, <laughs> plenty to be determined, obviously, in the NFL and the college football playoff. First things first here, Louisiana Tech. Gonna get the ball back. Smoke Harris gonna try to make a play. Makes a couple of men miss, and Smoke Harris has it creased down the left sideline. Smoke Harris, one man to beat, and he's brought down at the 20. All he knows how to do is make plays in the Superdome. Makes a couple miss. That's five guys that he just olayed at the point of attack. And then when he gets out in the open field, that's when he's at his best. That's what this team's rage is about, is when the ball is in his hand, he just has an understanding and a feel. And how scary that was a couple of weeks ago against TCU. So third down. Allen forced out of the pocket. Here comes the pressure, and what a hit by number five, Ben Ho Sway. It's a 45 yard attempt for Jacob Barnes to get Louisiana Tech on the board, and the Lou Groza semifinalist is true. They've all battled life adversity. To have a guy like Logan Wright leading the locker room has been a big thing. The shy Wirtz tried to climb up and brought down for a sack. Smoke Harris saw a big punt return out of him to end the first half. He's going to let that one bounce, and that one is going to be perfect. Saw one go into the end zone of the first half, and look at Beck. He's like, that one's going to check and stick. He's going to play fake it, roll out to his right, has pressure, lobs it over the middle, and a man wide open. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. Freshman's going to watch that film back as Shy Wirtz gets in for the touchdown to clean it up. Pelkerson's going to watch that back and say, you know what? I had an opportunity to score in a bowl game. I came up short with Shy Wirtz, the fifth year senior. Makes it 27-3, Georgia Southern. Any coach in America will tell you next man up, and it is head now, first and 10. Pressured and brought down. Number 44, Justin Ellis gets the sack and a loss of 13. With all the turnovers they've had to work through. Head gonna look downfield, and he's intercepted. Second interception of the day for Justin Birdsong. The chain's coming out, the turnovers continue. It's towards the right, and so Justin Birdsong sees it coming the whole way, is able to break down that ball high, but it was covered every step of the way. You saw Bird jumping up in the window. You saw Darrell Baker coming from the outside all over the receiver. Shy Words already three touchdowns on the afternoon. And he's gonna look to throw it, can't find anyone. And he's just going to take the sack. Good effort out of Tyler Grubbs, who brings down Wirtz. 24-yard attempt, 25-yard attempt, rather. Rayner, the kick is up and good. So third and three to give to Green. And Green is going to take it up the middle. Gerald Green brought down at the five-yard line by Khalil Ladler. Watch the left side of this line. Aaron Dowdle getting a little help from his friends right there, flat back the defensive lineman. And then Green, nothing but daylight there. A great run, great execution by this team down the stretch. 56 yard gain for Green. He had his eye on the end zone. The great Don Davenport will be handling that portion of the broadcast on the ESPN app as Green is gonna get in and finish what he started for Georgia Southern, touchdown Eagles. But it's all payday down in the low red zone. Gerald Green capping off what has been a dominant day for Georgia Southern. Found his way back on the field to have a remarkable bowl game. What a cap to a great career for Shy Wirtz. And as an underclassman going into a bowl game, you want to send your senior leaders out on the right note. And for a guy that's meant so much to this program, this is the exact way you do it for Sean.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.